Well, I'm Jack Smith with Forest River Sierra, and today we're going to do a quick walk around on a Sierra. This is our standard Sierra, Sierra fifth wheel line. So we'll just start right here at the entry door. If you notice our entry door, our entry door is a 32 inches wide. It's the widest entry door in the industry. With this entry door, we can get our furniture in and out and our appliances. A really big deal. We don't have to take the slide out or take the windows out to get them in and out anymore or take them into pieces. We can take them right in that, right out. Also with the door, it's a friction hinge door. Wherever you stop, it's where it's going to stay. No plastic holdbacks to break off anymore. Also, if you notice our screen door, it's recessed from plexiglass. Eighth inch plexiglass will fit right in there. You can either buy the inserts in a dealer parts store or cut your own plexiglass for it to work. Also with our steps, we use the more ride step above step, which is real nice. They fold right in out of the way, but you see their strut assist or spring assist right in, right out, and you can close the door behind them. Nice thing about these steps also is not only are they adjustable, but if you look here, they're tapped out for an additional handicap rail. So it's easy to get, easier to get in and out. We also have a big grab bar here at the door. Over here, you see where our speakers are located? When you're at a campsite, you're 25, 35 feet away from your neighbor, higher the speaker, higher the volume. We keep down a little lower where somebody can sit inside and listen to the TV or watch TV. You can sit out here and listen to the stereo. They're also Bluetooth compatible. So you can link it up to your smartphone and work all your operations out here. On this side, we have cold water. This comes with a 25 foot cold hose and sprayer. So you have water over here to clean off your patio furniture or picnic table, whatever, whatever you need it for. Or if you're a bad cook, you, if you have an out exterior kitchen, you can put your fire out. Inside our luggage doors, we use heavy duty luggage doors. You can see they're all slam latch, but insulated doors. Inside our luggage door, we have our TV hookups right here. As you know, when you put a TV on the side of the camper, you have glare to, to deal with. So you have to wait till dark or wait till the sun goes down so you can see your TV or turn it sideways. When it's in here, you can put a hang bracket on it and bring it out here and put it on a table or just from the inside. While we're looking inside here, you see this gray stuff. Gray stuff is ozite. You see it in a lot of the higher end trunks and automobiles because it's easier to vacuum out. There's black stuff and there's the gray stuff called ozite. And while we're looking in here, right here, three screws, your electrical components are in here, your converter, the back of the load center, the black box, which is the control box for the camper. Three screws, and it comes out. We make everything easy to get to, so if you ever need to get to it, you can. And also our heavy duty vinyl on the floor too. So, um, so if you throw something on there, you're not gonna cut it. We put our spare tire on the inside. We don't put them on the back of the camper because too many tires get stolen just going to the dealerships, being delivered. So it's just safe, it's out of the way. Nice place for it. If you look up above, you see our awning. We use A&E awnings, and it has a, an LED light strip, the length of the awning. Along whenever you turn your, along with turning your light strip on up here, uh, your speakers will come on blue. They are marine speakers. Over here, LP tanks. Easy to get to on nice slide. Comes out, latches in the place, two 30 pound tanks. Real easy to get in, in and out. And of course your uh, LP regulator right there that shows you the level in the tanks. So we walk around towards the front. Oh, I've missed something. Right up the top here, we're pre-wired for a security camera. Security camera above the door, up here on the front corner, and on the corner of the other side, and you can also link in the backup camera to it. Now you can get the uh, you can get the camera systems from you can order them from Amazon or at most dealerships, but it's a real nice feature. We use painted caps. You know, a lot of less inexpensive campers use a colored fiberglass, which will eventually fade. I've been with Sierra now for just about 11 years, and um, I've only seen two faded caps, and that was from the product that was used on them. But I think we're using Sherman Williams Auto Style paint on these. Now, when we look at the front here, you see you have nice hydraulic jacks on each side. Hydraulics are on the outside of the chassis, which gives it more stability. Hydraulics are 10 times faster than electric. Yes, 10 times faster than electric. Substantially better product. The jacks on the front are rated at 14,000 pounds per side. 
So it has 28,000 pounds per lift. It'll literally lift your truck up if you don't stop it at the top. So your front jacks are 14,000 pounds each. Your center stabilizers are 5,000 pounds each. The back stabilizers are 8,000 pounds each. So you have, you have 54,000 pounds of stability on our campers that are 11 to 13,000 pounds. They don't move. And in most cases when you're on concrete, you don't need a kingpin stabilizer. Here's the other hookup. Now when you look at our slides, we have all vacuum bonded walls on our slides, two inch thick. You can see our walls are nice, but the vacuum bonded walls, um, you see some other brands, which I like to call them SOB, some other brands. They just have hung fiberglass on the sides. And when the sun hits them in the summer, they just expand, they warp or bow out. Ours will never move. Also, you see this is a laminated bottom and it has an extra skid strip underneath it. Nice, it has years and years of wear on it. Also, while we're talking about slides, if you notice this slide, on all our main slides on our standard Sierra lines, the outside walls are built on a five degree angle. It's either hydraulic or electric, either one. The outside walls are always built on, out, on a five degree angle. So when it comes in, touch that top, bottom comes in, helps complete the seal, goes out, top touches, bottom comes out, helps complete the seal. It is a better system. When you have a cable system, cables are square boxes and the cables pull on all four corners. So if it ever gets cattywampus, it'll twist, stretch your cable, or if your cables stretch, then you have to get all that adjusted back in. These you'll never have to. Gravity always completes a seal on hydraulic and electric slides. Up here, battery disconnects up in the front corner. Of course, your battery disconnect when you're putting it away for a while. You always cut your batteries off because they'll eventually drain down from anything with an electric circuit board inside, LP delete detector. Uh, they'll drain your batteries down over time. Up here where our docking station is located, you saw cold water on the other side with a quick connect. This is hot and cold on this side. Also, your park cable hookup and it's pre-wired for satellite, both inside and outside, so the water there will run. And you'll have to, if you can come up here a little closer, this has the black tank flush system already built into it. The winterization package is built into it. And, of course, um, well, everything here, this is a new system we just went to, but every, it's all self-explanatory here. It shows you where to put the knobs to use it in different ways, to winterize it and flush it. And, um, and it's in a composite area, so it's... It gets wet, it's never gonna hurt it. And we have a whole house water filter system. Now these systems are pretty nice. I have one going in the garage at home. I get my water filters from uh, Food Lion. And of course your dump valves are inside. This is real nice though. You can close the door, run all your hoses and cables up through the bottom here instead of hanging off the side of your camper. Very nice. Again, there's nice slam latches. Once the air is all of our products, we always put the furnace and water heater on the off side of the road side of the camper so it's not a safety issue. You're not going to burn yourself if you're camping in the fall or summer or if you have your water heater on gas. We use a 10 gallon gas electric quick recovery water heater. 10 gallon tanks um, with a gas electric quick recovery function like a 16 gallon tank when you have the electric and the gas on at the same time. So if you're at a campsite and you have the electric on, she wants to take a shower, you want to go next, turn the gas on too so it heats it up much faster. Or in the summer months when you have two airs running at the same time, you're cooking something to eat, watching TV, turn the electric off, turn the gas on so you have plenty of capacity. Over here between our high gloss fiberglass and our bottom skirt is a piece of metal that cups right up underneath the, uh, up underneath the fiberglass. So it's not glued on like some brands, so we're not worried about uh, mold mildew growing into it or glue breaking loose. It's there forever. And you can see our walls, our walls are, are aluminum studded welded walls with lock foam insulation in between. They are run through a pinch roller, 100% glue coverage, run through a pinch roller and then laminated together. So it has 100% glue coverage and I've been around for 33 years. These are the strongest walls I've seen since I've been in the industry. Pretty good stuff. So we walk around. It's hard to show dump valves when you have the slides on the outside, but on all our Sierras, all but, we have two floor plans now, but every one we try to always put the electric hookup right here behind the wheels. It's always behind the wheels because that is the best spot. All your hookups are usually right here. There's two floor plans 
that we had to put it up here because there are no, no other place to put it. Also, if you notice on top, we have extended gutters or, or uh, we have the gutters with extensions to kick the water out away from the camper. We also use PVC roofing on top now, PVC roll goods. It's one piece that attaches in the front, comes back, wraps down over the back, screws in from the back side, goes over the side, screws in from the side. So you have fewer, fewer places that screw holes that it can leak. But PVC roofs now have a, uh, I think it's a 15 year warranty on it, where the others only had a 12 year warranty. But it's a superior product. It's easier to clean, just a nice clean looking piece. There's our backup camera, pre-wired for backup camera. Any pickup truck that is Bluetooth compatible, once it's plugged in, if you have a camera on it, um, it just works right into your truck. We put a 300 pound ladder on the back, which is the heaviest ladder you can put on campers. You'll see a lot of them with the fold down on them. They're only 200, 250 pound ladders. We put a 300 on it. We also have a weld on bumper, but our, our, our chassis, our uh, powder coated chassis from end to end. They're all 12 inch I beams on standard Sierras. And underneath we have underbelly armor. This is a big deal. Underbelly armor is, is four foot sections with a real gym between them. So if you ever need to take it down, you can take down four foot at a time. Really nice product. If you ever hit something on the road or need to repair something underneath or something new comes out, you want to add it to them. A couple screws on each side, it comes down. You can put it right back up. Some good stuff. Now, one of the big things about our campers here, um, with our wheels, tires, axles, we use the Lippard axle system. They're 7,000 pound axles on our standard Sierras, and the suspension on them have a six year warranty. It is, it is spring and shackles. Spring and shackles, if you compare spring and shackles to a torsion suspension, torsion suspension pushes down all the time. So, if you ever have a flat, you have to fix it right then and there. With the spring and spring and shackle system, you can limp to the next exit. But with those, they have the automatic adjust brakes. The big thing about automatic adjust brakes, 12 inch brakes, but automatic adjust brakes is brakes should be adjusted every six or 7,000 miles. These are perfect all the time. Automatic adjust. They're good until they wear out. So real nice. It's safe all the time. And we use ST radial tires on here. Now everything this size has ST radial tires on. Most people don't even know what an ST tire is. ST is a special trailer tire. That means it has more plies on the side of the tire itself. Like an airplane, when you think about an airplane coming down hits, it puts all the pressure on the sidewalls. These are the same way because unlike your pickup truck spread out on all four corners, these front two wheels pivot and the back two drag. So it has a lot of lateral pressure. It's just a stronger sidewall of a tire. And we use F rated tires, which are 12 plies. On this size camper, this camper is less than 11,000 pounds. Um, it only calls for E-rated tires. We put F-rated tires on, substantially better. And we also put nitrogen in the tires. Nitrogen keeps tires from swelling up and losing air. It's, it's a gas, it's just a, a better product. All right, let's go inside. Up here in our bedrooms, we use a memory foam mattress, which is kind of hard at first, but when you sit on it, you sit on it and count to five, and you'll start to feel it conform to you. And we automatically put king beds on everything, unless a king won't fit, and then it's a queen bed, or you special order it another way. You see, we put little places here to put your cell phone and, and uh, glasses or whatever else you want to put there, your teeth or whatever. We always have receptacles on each side of the bed and also USB ports. All our M windows are always functional windows. Headboard light, reading lights. <clears throat> we put two 15,000 BTU Coleman American made air conditioners in all our Sierras. So that's a real big deal. 15,000 is the biggest area you can put in this. A lot of brands will put a 15 in the back, 13.5 up here. The imported Dometics will use the American made Coleman's. They're a little quieter and they have a high velocity fan in them. Really nice. Up here, man, you can get it cold enough to hang meat in here. It's nice. Separate thermostats on them. Now, if you don't want all the air to blow in here, then you just pop this closed and it goes back through the duct system. Very nice. Up here in the corner, we use a King Wi-Fi extender. What this is, it has an antenna on the roof, but this is, this receiver, when you're at a campsite, you get one beam 
of Wi-Fi coming to you, this takes it, breaks it down into four. And you can password protect it. It's real easy to do by taking it off. Once you link it up to your smartphone, pull it off the wall, look at the numbers on the back of it, insert the number on that program, and you can password protect it. Then it's a secure line. So if you want to order something on Amazon or whatever, your, your card number is, is secure. Over here, all our standard Sierras are wired and plumbed for washer dryer. Stackable washers and dryers. Um, and we use... We use a Splendid, or Splendi, I think it's called, washer and dryer system. Um, your household washer and dryers are 27 inches wide. These are 24, so they're pretty good. Now keep in mind, it's a 100, 120 volt dryer opposed to 220 at home, but still, they work pretty good. And you see two separate, two separate receptacles up there for it. Now, if you look also, we're wired for TVs in every area. We don't, we don't put TVs in here. We used to offer them as options, but you and I can go buy them at Best Buy or wherever for half of what a factory can put them in. But you see, this is all half inch plywood. Hookups are up above, so it's a pretty stout system. And also we have form fitting laminate on our countertops. Another real big deal is emergency exits, I think only have to be, they only have to be 34 inches by so much. And a lot of brands have them right here. Well, average man can't get at them. This is big enough where if you ever needed to get out, you ever caught fire, you had to get out. Also, if you notice our doors, most of our doors are usually an inch or two wider, some of them three inches wider than our competitors, uh, and they're lever handles, no knobs. Lever handles for old people like me, when you get arthritis, they're easier to open and close, and also younger people too. If you look up here in our ceiling area, look close. You know, these things are built upside down and they're stapled and you put putty in the staple holes. Well, we try to hide all our staples because when you put putty in staple holes, over time they'll yellow and it just looks bad. We try to hide as much as you can. We use a snap batten. This is a track up here and this batten is not just a stapled up batten that's sealed, but it actually goes into that track. So it hides all our staples and around the lights and up here and over here. So it just made it look better for a longer time. And on the walls, we don't use any stapled up batten. It's all seam tape. So at nighttime, when you don't have any outside light coming in, it doesn't cast shadows. Pretty big deal. Now, if you come over here, this is a big deal in a door jam. A lot of brands use one, two, three, four pieces in the door jam. This is all one solid piece, goes top to bottom. It's just made to last longer. It's not gonna come apart. Can you get a close up on that? You see, it's a little nicer system. Whenever we option in the central vacuum, it has an 18 foot stretch hose that'll reach anywhere in the camper. And they're pretty good systems. We don't like to use the type that you just sweep into. We want to be able to get into the sofas and all the nooks and crannies. You see, it's a pretty nice system. That's an option. So depending on where you are, what you option in. Now, before you come any further, look here in the bathroom. You see our door swings all the way around. It's not coming up this way where you'll fall out, but you have to go up and back if you want to come out to the bedroom. But it's pretty nice. Um, as you walk into the bathroom, you'll see there's a few things we do different. You see it's an undermount sink, so it's easier to clean. You have a seat with adjustable hardware to shave your legs or just safer to sit on. Our toilets are foot pedal touch, foot pedal flush, but they're porcelain with a swirl flush. Pretty big deal. You usually don't see them in this price point. It's usually the next price point up. All our bathrooms have heat and air in each one of them and a fan and a nice big skylight. But there's always either a medicine cabinet above the sink or areas to store things. So we try to cover all that. And again, another lever handle, lever handle wider doors. We don't need doors that will just stretch back in there. We put doors and hallways wide enough that you can open the door all the way around. Now, when you turn and look back up, if you come back here and shoot through here, you'll notice that we only put carpet right here in our flush floor slide. Hydraulic slides allow us a flush floor slide, so there's nothing to trip over. Now, this is the only area we use carpet in our campers. Um, and the only reason we're using carpet is we haven't found another product yet that will hold up to the stress of constantly walking on these over the years but it's all vinyl all the way through, even composite steps. 
The first thing that wears out on a camper is the carpet, and it's usually right on the steps, so we don't put any there to even wear ourselves with. Now, when you look up here in our, what we call our control board up here, you see everything is up out of the way where a child or pet can't get to it. It's a QVA system. This is a real nice system. Um, shoot, I failed to show you the level up system on the front, but it's on the front corner up there. You can do a level up on the front corner uh, in here, or you can link it up to your smartphone and do it by your smartphone. But all your controls can be here or on your phone. Nice system, of course, this has a thousand watt inverter to go along with our 22 cubic foot refrigerator. While we're looking at this, this is a 22 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Pretty big deal. It's not plugged in now. Brand new camper, but it's an LG. LG is a little better product and LG has more lights in it than most refrigerators. Also down here at the bottom, it has an ice maker. Can't get enough ice. Over here on our stoves, we use a residential style gas stove. Real big deal. If you're a cook, look, you can cook a turkey in there. That is nice. You know how it is on those rainy days. You want to cook something, you can't go outside. Front burner is 12,000 BTU. The next one is 9,000 BTU. This is six. And that is either three or 3,500. Excuse my memory. But you can hear the piezo lighters already on everything. Real big deal. You have your Blue light for nighttime and your lighted light for down underneath. Nice, you don't have to stick your head down in there to light them anymore. We also have a residential microwave. This is microwave just like home. Pretty big deal. Over here, this is what separates our products from a lot of products. There's some stuff in here. Well, I'll pull it out. If you can look over here and see this, seven ply plywood, cabinet grade material, plywood backs. A lot of brands have MDF, medium density fiberboard that's wrapped in some sort of paper. Watch this. Quarter inch bottoms. Soft clothes. So you know with most brands, if you hit the bottom like that, it's just regular wall panel, you knock the bottom out of it. Up above with their doors, hidden hinges, soft clothes. We have a full pantry. Now depending on what floor plan it is, some have full pantries, the others are tucked over here in the side which is the same size, but we have drawers in them also. So we have plenty of room for canned goods or cereals, anything else you want to carry with you. Over here, we have the big stainless steel sink with solid surface countertops. And you can see this in the cheap stuff. This is the good stuff. This is kind of like a farm style sink without the lip over it. We couldn't build it with the lip. We'd sure like to, but we couldn't put the apron on the front like a farm style sink would normally have. Over here on this side, we have a trash can in every Sierra. Trash can's a pretty big deal. You don't want to tie them on the side or on the handles. If you've had a camper that's over six or seven years old, you notice that people always tie the trash bags onto some sort of handle. This you won't have to. As we walk back here, 50 inch LED TV, light emitting diode. It don't matter what angle you're on, you can see an LED TV. But this also, see this little strap down here, it pulls down out. You can turn it wherever you want, any direction. And it snaps back out of the place and you can just strap it up for, for uh, traveling. We have an up, uh, well, a premium, um, premium stereo system. This is real nice. It has a DVD player, but it's a little better stereo system. You can link it up to Bluetooth so you can walk around outside and turn your stereo on. It's triple zone so you can play it in the whole camper uh, just in the front or just outside, wherever way you want it. Our fireplace, our fireplace has high and low heat. And if you want just the hologram only of the flame, you can use that too. About 50 degrees and above, this will heat the camper. This camper has the block foam insulation in the sidewalls, double insulation, double seven, and double seven in the floor ceiling, both in the front section, but we also use the fold wrap. It used to be called R38. E, R38 equivalent, but I'm told not to say that anymore, but it has a wrap on it. This is a good insulation package you can get until you go up to $100,000 or more where you can put a, where they have the three and a half inch walls. Pretty good product. Over here, again, more receptacles. We put the most receptacles that we can possibly put in a camper without exceeding RVIA code. And again, another 
area with the USB ports, we use soft closed blinds that are centered. You can see they're full blackout blinds and they're also soft closed. All our windows are 80% tint, so on a bright sunny day it keeps it cooler on the inside and also helps prevent fade real bad on campers. Over here, you can see with their upper doors, they swing up instead of out, so it's not a head banger. And they have metal struts, not a piece of plastic. They're made to last longer. And one of the, over here, where, um, with their tables, all our chairs come with four chairs. We use two folding chairs that we stick under the bed and then two standards. Of course, they have the normal areas to hide your money underneath there. And these, nice strut on them. Now, I was told by guys in Kentucky, it's a place to, place to hide your gun. Also, we use the extension on the table that's held up by gravity. It's not a, a hinge that's eventually going to wear out. This will last as long as the table. It's a pretty good thing. Now, when we look up above, you know, at nighttime, you're winding down at night, and this thing has a lot of lights in it. You can turn them off just a couple at a time. But once you turn the rig of lights off at night, you have shadow lights up above. They give you that ambiance, but it's... I just call them shadow lights because when you want to turn things down, you can. We also have a light down here at the bottom. So a pretty big deal. It's a blue light. But receptacles everywhere. Here, there, there. One behind the sofa. Uh, as you can see all around. Full backsplash. But again, all those drawers. Remember, cabinet grade material. Quarter inch bottom. Soft clothes. Real big deal. In, in our roofs, we use wood rafters our roofs and floors. We use wood in the in the roofs for two reasons. With your wood, they're easier to fasten things up so they're not just glued up, but they're glued and stapled. It's a more secure item. With metal rafters, you have to vent the roofs. The roofs need one or two vents depending on how long the camper is for it to breathe. With wood, you don't have to. To me, wood is good. Wood is a superior product. When you see on a a cool morning, it's been a hot day and a cool morning. It's warming up. You'll see every stud in the sidewall if it's metal, but if it's wood, you can't see it because it doesn't transfer that heat like so. Inner floors are all our rafters are on um, 12 inch centers, actually a couple on 10, and uh, they're running lengthways, two to three studs. Five eighths inch plywood on the bottom floor here, five eighths inch tongu plywood on the bottom floor, three quarter inch on the upper deck. And also, we want our water lines down along the trough here, but uh, one big thing is if you come in here, I think it's 9, 11 inches, sorry. We have a stud right there. So I noticed with a couple other brands I walked through, they didn't have a stud right on the I-beam. We put a stud right on the I-beam right down along there that gives it a stronger, more secure feel. We also use a vinyl flooring that um, doesn't cold crack. You remember a few years ago up in Canada when it was 20 below zero for, gosh, I think five or six weeks straight, some of that vinyl flooring cracked, cracked like a piece of glass and it was pretty expensive to replace a lot of them. So somebody went out and came up with this vinyl flooring. It doesn't cold crack, but the nice thing about me, I saw in the South, is if you cut it, it doesn't curl up like your vinyl that you use in your house. So it lays flat so you can repair it. It's not gonna, uh, it's just not going to tear up as easily. It's a pretty good product. Well, that's all I have to say. I think there's about 63 C touch and feel features on a Sierra. And um, um, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Bye.